Hey everybody, welcome back to Sav's Lifestyle. Today's video is a really, really exciting one. We are party prepping for a cowgirl themed birthday party for my boyfriend's daughter. She's gonna be six on Easter Sunday this year and we're having her party the weekend before. So today's Friday, her birthday's, or her party's on Saturday. I took Friday off so that I could spend the whole day just planning and prepping and getting it all decorated and ready to go. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been pretty stressful, but it's been a lot of fun. So this is the look of our party so far. I have so many clips and bits and tips and tricks of so many different things that's gonna help uh, show you how I accomplish everything here. I hope that you find it helpful and that it's something that you can use in your own DIY party. So right now my table is pretty empty because again, it is Friday. Um, the kiddos should be getting home here in a couple of hours. So it's obviously just gonna be prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. And then I'll show everything tomorrow once I get all the food laid out, once I go pick up the cake and the cupcakes for the party and um, just some of the last minute details. I'll show all the details tomorrow right before the party starts. So yeah, I hope that you all enjoy this party prep with me video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the video is. And let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of things to show you guys. So kick back, relax, get a snack, and let's start it. Okay, so it is the night prior and I'm going to be starting on the cookies. We have a cute little, oh my gosh, you can't even see that. A cute little boot and also a cactus. So um, I am going to bake everything tonight and then tomorrow night I'm going to be decorating. Um, if you want an in-depth tutorial and recipe on how to make these cookies, I will link in the description box below um, when I made Christmas cookies. I did that a few months ago. I'll link that down below so that you can check out that video on the recipe and exactly what I use and how I make them. So this part of the video is just gonna be zipped through pretty fast because there's a lot more to show later on. So that's what we're gonna start on tonight. I'm gonna bake tonight and then decorate tomorrow. If you saw my last vlog and my vlog from Christmas Eve, I made a couple comments about how this house is filled in nooks and crannies with Nerf bullets. Hold on. There's a Nerf bullet in my mixer. You can't make this up. Here is the finished product. All of our cookies are made. We just did all of the little boots and the cactuses. I should say cacti. Here's how it's looking. They all look really good. So tomorrow I will decorate all of these tomorrow night. So that, that is it for the cookies. Okay guys, so I'm quickly going to show you everything that I have for the party. So all of this right here is just going to be balloons. So I have some cow print balloons right here. I have five packs of these pink, blush pink balloons that I got from Hobby Lobby. These are two pairs of giant 
pink boots. They are so cute. I saw them on Etsy. I saw the reviews on them and they're adorable. So that's going to be another set. All of these right here are individual balloons that spell out Kinsley. And this is going to go on our fireplace mantle. This right here, these are confetti balloons that have rose gold confetti inside of them. So they blow up clear and then the confetti inside is like that nice rose gold color. I got these from Amazon. And then these little mini balloons I got from Party City. The, uh, they're a pack of 50, five inch each. And these are gonna go just within the balloon garland to add a little more size, or, or just to add different sizes to the balloon garland. So that's that. This, this back here, this is a little tin bucket that I got from Hobby Lobby. What I actually plan to do is put this on the table and what I'm gonna have is these little glass milk jars and there's gonna be white milk, chocolate milk, and strawberry milk. All this will be filled up with ice and they're gonna be placed inside of there. And then these little cow straws are gonna go with them. So I thought that would be a really cute idea, just something that's like cowgirl themed. So we're gonna do milk. And then these are little table signs that we will place throughout the table to show like what's what. So you'll see that. We have a little cowbell. If you saw my vlog, you'll, saw, you'll, you'll know that I got this from, where was it? I got this from Hobby Lobby. These are a little pack of black popcorn boxes because we are gonna have popcorn on the table. I have some pink cups that we're gonna just place on the table because we're also gonna have lemonade. This is the tablecloth, so just a pink tablecloth. Have some cow print plates and napkins here. Some little black bandanas for some extra decor. And then I got these cute little silver tin buckets for just like candy or whatever, something that just goes with the theme. I have a little six candle for her cake. And then these are gonna be the party favor bags. I got these off of Amazon and they're really cute because they have <clears throat> a girl and a boy and then everything in here is just going to be the little party favors for the bags. So that's pretty much everything. Oh, this right here is a balloon pump. Absolute lifesaver when blowing up a million balloons. It's off Amazon. I'll link it below. True lifesaver and a game changer here. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough balloons, but I definitely think I have plenty. So here is what our balloon garland is looking like. So I'm gonna prop you guys up and we are going to hang it up and over on the wall there. Didn't catch me looking over my shoulder.
Okay, so my camera died, and while my battery was charging, I ran out to go pick up the big six balloon to celebrate her sixth birthday. And I also put up these super cute little cursive letters. These are from Party City. So I hung that up. That's gonna just sit there on the mantle, then all of our presents are gonna go down here. And I think that looks really good, so. That is all I have done in the last probably hour or so. And now I'm just gonna put all of the items that go on the table, I'm just gonna set it all up right now so that it's ready to go, mainly just for tomorrow so that I can just put everything where it needs to go. Um, Cause I still have to go shopping for all of the food that we need for the party tomorrow. So I'm just gonna set everything up on the table here. I really wanted to get it right. some balance in my life but i never really put up a fight didn't follow my dreams and now i'm losing sleep what if i lost okay so here's how we're looking we're gonna have pink lemonade set up right here here's the little cups for that we're gonna have little milk glass bottles in here with some ice and then the cow straws to either go with the lemonade or the milk, some little cow plates. I put the bandanas down. I think that adds a lot of color to the table. Um, the pink was almost washing everything out, so it looks looks nice. I actually really like it like that. And then um, we have our cake stand here. I'm picking up the cake tomorrow right before the party. There's her little candle, and then I have this beautiful cupcake stand. I got this from Amazon last year. I'll link it down below if it's still available. They may have a different, a few different colors. So um, it was actually pretty difficult to get last year, but I'm so glad I have it because it's beautiful. This here will be popcorn, and I have these little black popcorn boxes that I will set up tomorrow. And I also got a little scoop from Party City today, so I'll make sure that that's in there. And then I got these little canister things from Party City as well, so I'm gonna put gummy worms in here and then licorice in here so this is going to be lasso ropes and then we'll have sour worms so uh i think that's a pretty good setup i'm actually really happy with how it is looking it's very exciting it's going to be a fun little party and yeah so on to the next project hey guys so it is party day and right now I am on my way to go pick up the cake and the cupcakes for the party. It is almost 11 right now and the party starts at one. So I have a lot of last minute things to do. Uh, Austin and the kiddos are cleaning up the house right now. I'm out running this errand and then I gotta get some ice on my way home. And then basically just set up like everything left that I have to do, I have to make the chocolate and strawberry milk. I have to put out all of the snacks and uh, just a lot of last minute things. I ordered food, thankfully that's just gonna be delivered. So that's all checked off the list. Um, oh my gosh, I, yesterday while I was decorating or prepping, I should say, I felt this tickle in my throat and my gosh, this morning, I am miserable like it hurts to talk because my throat hurts so bad and like I'm just congested my nose and <clears throat> I've got like a slight cough it's like oh I hate this time of year I'm like of course that would happen literally the day of the cowgirl party but you know whatever it's okay so we're gonna get these cupcakes and I will show you guys as soon as I grab them Okay. 
here's how they look so cute they're gonna go with the colors and everything perfectly oh I'm obsessed very very cute all right I'm gonna head home I'm gonna stop and get some ice first and then it's gonna be putting everything out because we are on a time crunch now as always I have so much to do it's like stressing me out and we have a big surprise coming and it's on the way and I can't wait I cannot wait to show you guys so stay tuned okay so Twizzlers and Sweet Tart ropes these are gonna be lasso ropes these lemons are gonna go in the lemonade we have all of our decorated cookies here Rice Krispie Treats are going to be the hay bales. I'm about to make strawberry and chocolate milk. We have chocolate donuts that are wagon wheels and then popcorn to go on the table. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams And now I'm losing sleep everything that's behind me. I'm going to show you guys my outfit really quick for the party. So I have this really cute Texas t-shirt. This is from, you guessed it, Rosie Day's Boutique. And then I also have some little can, -can shorts. And then, and then I have my own little cowboy boots that I've had literally for years and then my little belt buckle so this is the outfit for today setting it up right now. We got a mechanical bull. It's a cowgirl party, so we're gonna be riding a mechanical bull. The kids have not seen this yet, and they are going to be so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm my heart's racing. Listen to me as I say.
is over. I feel like I am losing my voice. <laughs> oh my gosh. My throat is just so scratchy. And like I, I can hear like my voice is going away. But a lot of that's because like I was yelling and like having a good time at the party. So I know that that didn't help. But oh my gosh, it was phenomenal. The mechanical bull, 11 out of 10. 20 out of 10 it was so so worth it and it, it literally brought a smile to every single person's face that came and they just loved the idea and I was telling them I said listen she said cowgirl theme done we're doing a mechanical bull I had to I had to do it like it, it was a must so it was so so much fun and the people that ran it they were spectacular super easy with all of the kids that got on it and then fun and crazy whenever the adults got on it I got on it and he they they threw me off <laughs> and then Austin got on it and they whipped him clear across it like it was so much fun and well well worth it I feel like I couldn't vlog too much of it because I'm very particular about not having kids in my videos not only Austin's kids, but also um, like the other kids that were there. I just I don't feel comfortable putting them on film um, and then posting them online. So I wasn't able to show like a whole bunch, but the purpose of this video was just to show you like a prep video. So um, I think it turned out pretty a okay. But I just wanted to kind of do a little outro video and a little closeout. Um, it was a blast, but I am beyond exhausted. And it doesn't help that I feel so blah, literally. That's okay. We got through it. It went wonderful. The kids loved it. Kinsley had an absolute blast. She loved having all of her friends here. She got so many presents. She's literally out there right now organizing them all. And I know we'll be doing a bunch of her little toys tonight. So that'll be fun. And yeah, so... That's, that's going to be the closing out of this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for party prepping with me. I hope that this gave you some ideas and that you can take it and <clears throat> use it in your own way. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of the video was. And if you want to see more videos like this, this was so much fun. This was honestly so much fun to film. And I'm so excited to be able to show you guys everything that I can come up with and everything that I envision and putting it out there for everybody to enjoy. I got so many compliments on all of the decor. The biggest part is it made Kinsley feel so, so special. And that's all that matters. It's just making them highlighted and making them feel like they're on top of the world when it's their big day. So that's all I care about. Anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned. Next week you will be seeing a balloon garland tutorial. So hit that notification bell and um, that way you're notified every time that I upload. So thank you guys for watching again and I will see you in the next one. Bye.